Date is 24th February 2023, Morning Murli, Babdada, Madhuban. Babdada's elevated versions, essence of the Murli is Sweet children, this is now your final birth. The play is coming to an end and you therefore have to become pure and return home. This history will then repeat from the golden age. So this is our final birth and the play is coming to an end. So therefore we have to become pure and return home. This history will then repeat from the golden age. Question, which wonder can only you children perform while looking after your homes and families? Answer, while looking after your homes and families and living in the old world, you have to break your attachment to everyone. Forget all the old things, including your bodies. This is the wonder of you children. So Papa is asking us which wonder can only we children perform. So the wonder is living in this old world and breaking all the attachments from everyone forgetting the old things, including our bodies. This is the wonder of you children. This is called Sato Pradhan Renunciation. Only the father teaches you this. You children promise that you will stay pure in this final birth. This purity will then remain all the time for 21 births. No one else can perform such a wonder. So this is called Sato Pradhan Renunciation. Only the father teaches us this and we promise the father that we will stay pure in this final birth and this purity will then remain for the 21 births. No one else can perform such a wonder other than us. Song, you are the mother and you are the father. Om Shanti. The meaning of Om Shanti has been explained to you children very easily. Everything is easy. You attain a kingdom easy for, for, sorry, for where? For the golden age. That is called liberation in life. The evil spirits of Ravan do not exist there. When someone has an evil spirit of anger, it is said you have an evil spirit of anger in you. Okay, it has been explained to you children that the meaning of Om is I am a soul and this is my body. So what is the meaning of Om Shanti that Baba has explained us that I am a soul and this is my body. A soul, a charioteer is sitting in every chariot, a body. This chariot functions with the soul's power. Our body functions with the soul's power. So this is a, a soul which is sitting in every chariot, that's a body. A soul repeatedly has to shed a body and take another. You children now, I'm sorry, you children know that Bharat is now the land of sorrow. Half a cycle ago, it was the land of happiness. There used to be the almighty government because it was the almighty authority who established the kingdom of deities in Bharat. So half a cycle ago, Bharat was the land of happiness. It is because there was almighty government and almighty authority who established the kingdom of deities in Bharat. So because of that, it was the land of happiness. There was one religion there. 5,000 years ago, it truly became the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan there. It was definitely the father who established that kingdom. They received their inheritance from the father. Those souls have been around the cycle of 84 births. Only the people of Bharat go through these clans. So only the people of Bharat go through these clans, not the other souls. It is now the Shudra clan. After the Shudra clan, there is the most elevated Brahman clan. Brahman clan means that you are the mouth-born creation of Brahma. Prajapita Brahma must definitely have adopted children. You children know that Bharat was worthy of worship and that it has now become a worshipper. So Bharat was worthy of worship and now it has become a worshipper. The father is ever worthy of worship. 
So father is that Shiv Baba is ever worthy of worship. He definitely comes to purify the impure. The golden age is the pure world. There won't be the name of the Ganges, the purifier in the golden age, because that is the pure world anyway, and all souls there are charitable souls, no sinful souls. Then in the Iron Age, there are no charitable souls, all are sinful souls. So in the Golden Age, all the souls are charitable souls, so there is no sin performed there. But in the Iron Age, there are no charitable souls, since all the souls are sinful. Those who are pure, are said to be charitable souls. It is only in Bharat that people donate a great deal and also perform a lot of charity. At this time, when the father comes, you surrender yourselves to him. Sannyasis leave their homes and families and go away. Here you say, Baba, all of this is yours. You gave us a lot of wealth in the golden age and then Maya made us worth shells. Now, even these souls have become impure, impure in body, mind and wealth. Souls, first of all, remain pure and they become impure while playing their parts. Human beings definitely have to go through the stages of golden, silver, copper, iron. Having gone through the cycle, the jewelry has become tamopradhan and false. All souls continue to tell lies about God because they have been taught that God is omnipresent. They sing, you are the mother and father. They also sing this praise in front of the Lakshmi and Narayan idols. However, they only have their one son and one daughter. The children have the same happiness that the kings and queens do. Everyone has a lot of happiness. You are now in your last and 84th birth. You, there is a lot of there is a lot of sorrow. The father says, I am once again teaching you Raj Yoga. The father explains to you children, the charioteer, the soul, is sitting in this chariot that is in this body. This charioteer was at first 16 celestial degrees full, that is in the golden age. Now he has no degrees since he's in the iron age. They even sing, I am without virtue, I have no virtues, have mercy, that is have mercy on me. No one has any virtues now. Everyone is very unhappy and impure. And this is why they go to the Ganges to perform, to become pure. They don't do this in the golden age. It is the same river, but it would be said that everything is Tamo Pradhan at this time. So in the golden age, the Ganges will remain the same. It is the same river, but here in the Iron Age, since everything is Tamo Pradhan, so even the Ganges has, uh, cannot make the soul pure. In the Golden Age, all the rivers are very pure and clean. No rubbish is thrown into the rivers there. Here, there is so much rubbish thrown into them. All the rubbish then flows into the ocean. This cannot happen in the Golden Age. So here it is Tamo Pradhan because all the Rubbish is thrown into the rivers, all the waste, the dead bodies, everything is mixed into the ocean. So this is the reason it is not pure here. This cannot happen in the golden age. It isn't the law. Everything remains pure there. The father explains. This is now the final birth of everyone. This is our final birth. The play is coming to an end. The limit of this play is 5,000 years. Incorporeal Shiv Baba is explaining to you, he is the incorporeal one, the highest of all, the resident of the Supreme Ado, that is Paramdham. We have all come from the Supreme Ado. It is now the end of the Iron Age and the drama is coming to an end and history will then repeat again. All the scriptures and the Gita that people have been studying were written in the Copper Age. All the scriptures and Gita that we have been studied 
were written in the Copper Age. This knowledge disappears. No one can teach you Raj Yoga. Religious books are created as their memorials. They themselves take rebirth, but the books remain as their memorials. The deity religion is established at the confluence age. The father comes and sits in this chariot, that's Brahma Baba. This is not a question of a horse chariot. He enters this chariot, this ordinary old body. He is the charioteer. It is remembered that he created Brahmins through Brahma. That is, Shiv Baba created Brahmins through Brahma. You are mouth-born Brahmins. All of you children say that you are BKs, the mouth-born creation of Brahma. This Brahma too is adopted. The father himself says, I become the charioteer of this chariot. I give him knowledge. I begin with him and I give the urn to the mothers. This one is also a mother. This one becomes this first and then you do. That one is present in this one, but in front of whom does he speak? He sits here and speaks to you souls. So Shiv Baba takes the body of Brahma and then gives us this knowledge. So first he becomes Brahmin and then we become mouth born creation of Brahma. He sits here and speaks to you souls. There isn't a scholar, etc., who would sit and speak to souls in this way and say that he is their father. You souls are incorporeal. I too am incorporeal. I, the ocean of knowledge, am the creator of heaven. I do not create hell. So here I is Shiv Baba. It is Maya Ravan who creates hell. The father says, I am the creator and so I would surely create heaven. You people of Bharat were residents of heaven and you have now become residents of hell. It was Ravan who made you into residents of hell. So we were the residents of heaven first and now became residents of hell. It is because of the Maya Ravan. Because souls follow the dictates of Ravan. At this time, you souls are following the Srimad of Rama, Shiv Baba, Shri Shri. The father explains, everyone's part has now come to an end. All souls will come together. When all souls have come down here, destruction will start and souls will begin to go back. There are now innumerable religions in Bharat. Just the one original eternal deity religion does not exist. There are innumerable religions in Bharat. It is just one original eternal deity religion that does not exist. None of them call themselves deities. Praise of deities is sung, full of all virtues. Then they say of themselves, I am a degraded sinner. Those who were Sato Pradhan and worthy of worship become Tamo Pradham worshippers. The kingdom of Ravan begins with the Copper Age. The kingdom of Rama is the day of Brahma and the kingdom of Ravan is the night of Brahma. So when should the father come? He would come when the night of Brahma is to end. Only when he enters the body of this Brahma would there then be you Brahmins created through Brahma. So the kingdom of Ravan is the night of Brahma and the kingdom of Rama is the night is the day of Brahma. So when should the father come? He comes when it is the night of Brahma is to end. He teaches Raj Yoga to you Brahmins. The father says, you must not remember the pictures of any subtle corporeal or incorporeal beings. You are given an aim. People remember others when they see their pictures. So Baba is saying we must not remember the pictures of any subtle corporeal or incorporeal beings. So in the normal world, people remember others when they see their pictures. Baba says, stop looking at pictures. 
that is the path of devotion. So when we were in the path of devotion, we used to sit in front of the idols or keep a picture in front of us and then remember that. So Baba is saying that is the path of devotion. So now stop looking at those pictures. You souls now have to come to me once again. There is a huge burden of sin on your heads. It isn't that the sins of every birth are finished in the jail of a womb. So there is a huge burden of sins on our heads. So it isn't that that sins of every birth are finished in the jail of a womb. Some are finished and some still remain. I have now come as the guide. So Baba has now come to guide us. At this time, all souls are following the dictates of Maya. To say that God is omnipresent is a dictate of Maya. Sometimes they say that God is omnipresent and sometimes they say that he takes 24 incarnations. The father says, I am not omnipresent. I am the purifier, the creator of heaven. My business is to change hell into heaven. Gandhiji wanted there to be the kingdom of Rama. Now they say that they want an almighty kingdom and one religion. In heaven, there was one religion and one kingdom. There were no partitions there. The father says, I do not become the master of the universe. I make you that. So Baba does not become the master of universe. He makes us the master of universe. Then Ravan comes and snatches the kingdom away from you. Everyone is now Tamo Pradhan and has a stone intellect. In the golden age, everyone has a divine intellect. The father explains that the charioteer is sitting here. It is the soul that speaks and this one soul also listens. This one soul also listens means that Brahma Baba. He says, children, do not look at anything with an image. Constantly remember me alone. Connect your intellects in yoga to me up above. Remember the place that you have to go the one father and none other he is the true emperor the one who speaks the truth to you therefore you must not remember anyone's picture you must not even have yoga with this picture of shiva because shiva is not like that just as we are souls so is the supreme soul baba says just as a soul resides in the center of the forehead, in the same way, I take a little space and sit next to this soul. So Baba is saying, as the soul resides, so our soul resides in the center of the forehead. So in the same way, Baba takes a little space and sit next to the Brahma Baba's soul. I become the charioteer and sit here and give this one knowledge. His soul did not have knowledge, he was impure. Just as this one soul, the charioteer, speaks through this body, I too speak through these organs in the same way. As Baba, as Brahma Baba speaks through this body, Shiv Baba also speaks through these organs in the same way. How else would I explain? Baba is asking, how else would he explain? Brahma is definitely needed in order to create Brahmins. This Brahma will then become Narayan. You Brahmins are now the children of Brahma. You will then go into the clan of the Sun Dynasty, Sri Narayan. It has been explained to you children that all of those scriptures, etc. belong to the path of devotion. That the same ones will be written again and that people will become Tamo Pradhan while reading them. So all this has been written all this will be written again and people will become Tamo Pradhan while reading them. So all these belongs to the path of devotion. The golden age changed into the silver age. Silver age changed into the copper age and then the iron age. Only when you become impure does the purifier come and purify you. Scriptures cannot purify anyone. People have now become completely poverty stricken. They continue to fight and quarrel with one another. They are worse than monkeys.
monkeys have the five vices in them very strongly. So Baba is saying that people have now become completely poverty stricken and they are worse than monkeys. Monkeys have the five vices in them very strongly. No one else has the arrogance of bodies as strongly as monkeys do. Monkeys have all the vices such as lust, anger, greed, attachment to such an extent. Don't even ask. When a monkey's baby dies, the mother won't let go of its wounds. It is the same with people too nowadays. When people lose their children or child, they continue to cry for six to eight months. In the golden age, neither is there untimely death, nor does anyone weep or wail. So it is in the iron age that people, when a child dies, the mother continued to cry for six to eight months. But in the golden age, there won't be any untimely death, nor anyone weeps or wail. There are no devils there. It is just here in the iron age. So Baba compared with the monkey that they have uh, all the vices in them very strongly. So we have to check that. Do we have any of these vices still prevailing in ourselves? At this time, the father speaks to you children. You can look after your homes and families. And while doing that, perform such wonders which sannyasis cannot perform. Only God teaches this Sato Pradhan renunciation. He says, this old world is now to end and you must therefore finish your attachment to it. Everyone has to go back. Forget all the old things, including your bodies. Give those five vices to me. If you become impure, you won't be able to go to the pure world. Promise the father that you will remain pure in this final world and your purity will then remain all the time. You have been choking in the vices for 63 births and have become completely dirty. So Baba is saying, give those five vices to me and promise me that you will remain pure in this final birth. We have already been choking in this vices for 63 births and have become completely dirty. You have forgotten your dharna and karma. You say that yours is the Hindu religion. The father says, you have become senseless. Why? Because you don't understand that Bharat was heaven and that you yourselves were deities. I taught you Raj Yoga. You then say that Sri Krishna is the father of all and the creator of heaven. The father is the incorporeal, the father of all souls. You then say of him that he is omnipresent. You insult your father. You have mixed up Shiva with Shankar. There has been so much defamation. Shiva is the supreme soul. He says, I come to establish the deity religion. Then the dual form of Vishnu, that's Lakshmi and Narayan, will rule the kingdom. Only the one Sadguru establishes the land of truth. He is the charioteer in this chariot. This one is called Nandigan, that's the bull, and Bhagirath too the lucky chariot that's brahma baba he that is shiva says to you arjunas i have entered this chariot on the battlefield to make you into conquerors of maya in the golden age neither does ravan exist nor his nor is his effigy burnt people now continue to burn effigies of him acha to the sweetest Beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. We, the spiritual children, says, Namaste to the spiritual father. Mite, mite, sikhilade bacho prati, matpita, Babdada ka yadpyar or good morning. Ruhani Bab ki, Ruhani Bachon ko Namaste. Am Ruhani Bachon ki, Ruhani Mat Pita, Bab Dada ko Yad Pya, Good Morning or Namaste. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Essence for Dhana, first point, don't remember any pictures. 
keep the father without any image in your intellect. Connect your intellect in yoga up above. Number two, you have to return home and you must therefore remove your attachments from all the old things, including your body. Become completely pure. Blessing, may you be a master bestower of fortune and remain constantly ever ready for any task by being a right hand of the father. The children who become the father's right hands and are constantly cooperative in every task, who remain constantly ever ready and who are obedient and always says, yes, Baba, we are ready. The father calls them constantly loved, especially beloved children, worthy children, children who are the decoration of the world. And he gives them the blessing of being master bestowers of blessings and bestowers of fortune. While living with their families, such children stay beyond the attitude of a family. And while interacting with everyone, they also always pay attention to interacting with everyone spiritually. So Baba is saying, the children who are the right hands and are constantly cooperative in every task and who remains constantly ever ready and are obedient, father calls them constantly loved and beloved children who are worthy children. And since they are the decoration of the world, he gives them the blessings of being master bestowers of happiness and bestowers of fortune. So such children, while living with their families, they stay beyond the attitude of a family. And while interacting with everyone, they also pay attention to interacting with everyone spiritually. Slogan, have honesty and cleanliness in every word and action, and you will become a jewel specially loved by God. Cha, today's Murli is finished. Om Shanti.